disable guardian. Hey folks, or, sorry. hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today I'm going to check out Virtual Desktop. Now, Virtual Desktop's got some very cool tricks up its sleeve, and one of the most remarkable things that's come out very recently is the ability to play Steam VR titles directly from Virtual Desktop. So if we go here to Virtual Desktop, you can see I'm connected to my desktop PC. Uh, my desktop PC is different than the PC that I'm recording this and streaming this footage to. So I want to play some Sublevel Zero Redux. So what I'm about to do is play Sublevel Zero Redux in Steam VR mode directly in VR using Virtual Desktop. So first I want to launch Sublevel Zero in Steam VR mode. The second thing I want to do is while that's launching, I want to check Use Touch Controllers as Gamepad. And you'll see why in just a moment here. Because otherwise, there's no control scheme here. So we want to go back to VR here. And now I am playing sublevel 0 Redux. Just press the A button on my touch controller. We're going to play a new game. And we're going to go ahead and, and use the tutorial for this. Um, and I'm playing directly from my gaming PC, my desktop PC that I usually play Steam VR titles from. And as you can see, head tracking works just fine. The engine's been initialized. I can move up and down, left and right. Uh, the controls actually work the same as they do on the PC version of the game, because this is the PC version of the game. I want to switch a little bit here. Alright, so we're going to move forward. And as you can see, it's got right bumper and left bumper up and down. Those are actually the grip buttons here. And we can boost by holding down the left stick. Works just fine. You can roll using the A and X button, which I actually had previously done a little bit of. Saw something there I wanted to pick up. So we've now initialized our weapons. As you can see, the weapons HUD is now live. We're going to go to the Y button. We're going to equip our miss missile launchers here. And then we'll equip our launch pulsars. Put those there. Not sure where to go here, so we're going to take a look. That looks promising. Ah, oh, that looks very promising because there seems to be an enemy there. So you may have seen this game before. If not, this game plays remarkably like the old Descent games. Um, it's very much inspired by those games. And it's one I definitely recommend on PC. Um, and now, like I said, you can play this sort of on the Quest. Now there are some caveats, and I'll, I'll show you that in just a moment. There are other games that don't work quite as well as this one. But as you can see, as we move through these kind of cavernous places, I feel like we want to go back this way still. Yeah, 
that was right. So I've got some repair systems initialized now. And you may not be able to hear the sound very loud because I'm using kind of a crappy microphone connected to a PC, but um, the sound plays just as it does on the PC version of the game, and it's streaming no stutter or anything of that nature as I play on the Quest. And this is, again, just utilizing Virtual Desktop, which is an application that's available right now on the Oculus Home Store. So you don't even need to sideload anything to play full-blown PC VR titles, or even just regular PC titles. Um, you can play standard PC titles on a virtual desktop as well, um, and you can play in gamepad mode like I'm doing right now for those standard titles as well. There's a lot of enemies here now, so maybe I should uh, switch weapons. I don't, I'm not sure here. Let's see what happens. Okay, there's more coming. Uh oh. Alright, switch to map. It wants me to switch to the map. I don't want to switch to the map. I just don't want to die. Did I kill it? I think I did. Nice. Alright, let's see what happens here. Got quite the energy source balling up in front of us. Let's try opening that. That gets us a lot of stuff here. Wondering if we should fly through this. Yeah, hold on. Teleport. Okay. So we've now teleported somewhere. I'm not sure where. Not sure that was the right path to take. And that's the trouble with this game is I get lost a ton. There is a mini-map. Um, I think it's... Nope, that's a, that's that's not a mini map. There is a mini map that you can pull up. This seems to be the only way in and out. So let's go back here. a little dead now, which is good. So I've got a data log, and the text is clear as day, so it says, it's, I know it's totally unfair, I see the hardware getting unboxed, etc, etc, whatever. Um, but you can read that quite well on here, without any issues. Somebody is shooting at me, I can see it's happening. And we've died. Um, either way, as you can see, the game is totally playable. We're going to go ahead and quit out to the menu and, and exit this game. Um, but totally playable, totally doable. And it takes you back to Steam VR, as you can see. So. That was sublevel zero Redux. If I hold down here and go back, we can switch back to the desktop mode. And let's say we're going to play something that's not a VR title. Oh, wait, first of all, we should uh, switch back to using the controllers as controllers as, as opposed to. So let's play a game. I don't have a whole lot of non VR titles here, but let's switch to Dead Cells. Um, and you can play this right in virtual desktop as well. As you can see, it's launching.
got the assets loaded. It appears as kind of a big screen in front of me. I'm going to switch my input to using the touch controllers as a gamepad. And we're actually going to start a new game in normal mode, quitting our current game. And Dead Cells is one of my favorite titles. I can play this now in a VR headset on kind of a big screen in front of me. You can change the settings for the screen and things of that nature as well. We're going to skip a bit. As you can see, you can run and jump and slide. What do we got here? We're going to remove the wooden shield. And now we've got a fire brand that we can use. And I'm not great at this game right now. But it's working quite well using kind of an emulated controller right now. Hit this guy, knock him out. So he could teleport there, but we're not going to. We're going to kill these guys. mechanism is keeping this door locked. Okay, let's see what we can do. Now there's no mechanism keeping the door locked. Got another teleport here. All healed up. Now we're going to leave, go to the toxic sewers. So normally we'd go to the toxic sewers. I'm not going to do that right now. This is just a demonstration that you could play a game like this. But let's say you wanted to uh, change the environment. You could actually make this a computer room. And now I've got the game in kind of a lower resolution screen in front of me on a computer. And as you can see, there's some Oculus references around the room here. It's pretty cool. Um, and there's, there's lots of other environments as well. We could just have a black void put ourselves in a home cinema with a giant screen. We can actually probably relocate ourselves into a different spot in the home cinema. But I kind of prefer the purple nebula um, overall. Go back to the computer here. And now what we're going to do is, uh, well, let's... Uh, gonna die probably now. Just knock myself out a little bit. Didn't finish either of those in time. And we could upgrade. We could do all kinds of things here. 
We're not going to right now, though. For now, we're going to go ahead and end this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Quick look at virtual desktop. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.